All right, me and Dinwiddie were out doing a old home site. I can't even believe this. My very first dig, and I got a token. Oh, it's in beautiful shape. Let me clean it up. That is such an awesome token. <laughs> Look at that. The 12 and a half cents is hold. So that's one bit, I guess, I've been told. So it says good for 12 and a half cents in trade. And the back says idle hour. Whoa. First hole. I haven't even dug junk yet. I guess it might be a pocket watch back, but it seems kind of small for that. I don't know if you can see on camera, but there's kind of some fancy on there. Well, there's something I want to get a ton of. An old piece of razor, looks like. Cool. Does he do it every time we come out? He just walks <laughs> right to the sill. <laughs> oh, man. I can't believe it. Oh, maybe it's not silver. What is it? Let me clean it up. Some sort of coinage. Holy crap, I think lightning just struck. I think. Oh, I don't know what that is, but we gotta get some water. I got water. Yeah, let's get some water. I might have my first real or something here. I can't even believe this. <laughs> All right. This is crazy because we are in Montana. Just to put what's going on right now in perspective, we weren't even a state until 1889. Like, nobody lived here really till like 1870, 1860. Like, there's a few people that came in 1840, but like, really till 1900, there wasn't anybody here. And we were just headed to the truck, and all of a sudden I said, I think I got a silver coin. And <laughs> here it is. I'm hoping to get this cleaned up and get you some nice snapshots, but this says 1791. This is, this is 100 years older than the state of Montana. So this is the second oldest coin that we found that I've been a part of in Montana. We did get that 1600s coin in a park. But, man, and I think this is a real. I think this is my first Spanish real, and I got it in Montana. <laughs> awesome, man. There, that's so crazy. I mean, the magnitude of this for us, it's crazy. We, we thought we'd have to, like, travel to get this coin. So hopefully I'm not a big dummy. I don't know the for sure it's a real. But as soon as we get in cell service, we will be looking it up. <laughs> uh, I have zero experience with these coins other than just seeing them on some YouTube channels. Took a while to figure this out for me. <laughs> but this is a one real from Peru, 1791. So cool. So, when I got that coin, we were leaving. And we just thought, well, let's hit this little spot a little harder. They're pretty. <sighs> nice job. Silva. Silver. Merc. But I, don't, I can't see this. Uh, oh, 1922, I think. 24. There she is. <laughs> Awesome. Ooh, dude. I worked hard for that one. All right, this is day two. These are all short after work hunts. What do we got? Oh, it's a weedy. So, not that old. We are in kind of a different spot. We're not far from that good stuff from yesterday, but a totally different spot. Let me see if I can get a date. Okay, 1946, so we're going in the wrong direction, but 
still good stuff in the 40s. We're gonna kick around here, see what we can get. Big, big gear to something. Mm -hmm. Model T, rock stand trailer. Yeah, and this is crazy. We're just like down in a ravine. Yeah. But I'm starting to feel like someone lived right here, which is weird. Right here. That's weird. I, I didn't show you guys, but I got a little piece of hose. There's an apple tree around the corner and a, an old cow trough. Oh, and a pile of bear crap. There it is. <clears throat> ah, choke cherries in there. So I definitely have a piece of jewelry here. Looks like a heart pendant. And it's definitely been in a fire. That is not in good shape. Dang. Uh, I think it was even a lock. It kind of looks like two pieces. Yeah, we're finding some weird stuff. It's such a weird spot for a home site. That, Dinwiddie just found, looks like a fishing reel to me. Yeah. Probably an old fly rod reel or something. Yeah. And I think I see the cellar hole. I think it's over there. My first button, it's a Lee button. All right. You got me a suspender clip. That's a nice big chunky one. See if it says anything on it. Oh yeah, something. I'm gonna give it a few wipes. Let me see if I can get that to come out. So I think I found where they liked to do laundry or threw all the old clothes because I got a bunch of buttons there I didn't show you. Here's another suspender. This one's kind of weird. I haven't really had one like that before. Oh my gosh, man. New Jersey? That's an amazing button. Yeah, Can I see it? Yeah. Check that out. That is cool. Camden Police. I haven't cleaned the back yet. Yeah, it's going to have back marks and everything. Sweet. Camden, New Jersey Police. I like that one. <laughs> well, that pocket watch has seen better days. Yeah, that's, that's almost as complete as you could ever want one. Too bad it's in such a rough shape. Man, I'm going to have to come back with my little coil. This place is like digging in a junkyard. But, look at that, another weedy. Let's see if this one's a little older. This place might not be as old as we'd like it to be. Let me see if I can get a date. Well... I'll put the date down below if I figure it out. Look at that. General service button. Oh, is that one's only got one star at the top? No. No? You got the 13? I'm sure it is. It looks different than the other ones I got. Well, maybe. I don't know. Boom. Getting some stuff. Look at that cool old apple tree. Well... Tonight wasn't nearly as good as last night, but how could it be? Man, what a good night, though. Dinwiddie got a couple of great buttons. Perfect. Well, hope you liked it. See you on the next one. Bunch of Montana bighorn sheep. You guys see that big ram in the front?